one of the easiest things you can do on the drums to enhance your drum solos, you know, creating amazing chops or going crazy in shed, is to gain mastery over something called the triplets. Now, triplets are widely used across the globe by pro drummers, including myself. I make use of the triplets a lot, like a lot. And today I'm going to be showing you guys very nice ways you can use this triplet. <laughs> I'll always say something, be sure to watch to the end so you don't miss out on the most important secrets I'm going to be sharing with you guys in today's video. Let's get started. So first off, a triplet is not a rudiment. Yes, counter to what some people might believe, triplet is not a rudiment, it's actually a subdivision. So it's three notes actually, yes, three notes, but then it's how you play that determines if it's a triplet or not. Do you get? So the popular ways we play triplets is either like this, and if you want to count it, you count it one triplet two triplets, three triplets, you get. So we can play. So we have right, left, left. Or right, left, right. That's, these are the two popular ways. But I use right, left, left, and I believe most of you watching this video already that know about triplets make use of right, left, left a lot. Now the thing is, it can be very boring to make use of right, left, left. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this thing to create lots of other triplets. And we're going to take those lots of triplets and merge them together to get very tasty stuffs for our drum solos and drum chops. We're going to have these five stuffs. I just picked out those five triplets, these five possible triplets. And we have right, left, left. We have right, kick, left. We also have right, left, kick. We have kick, left, kick. And we also have right, right, left. So now we're going to merge them. We're going to pick one and two. You get one and three, one and four, one and five. I'm going to do two and three, two and four. I'm going to make sure I use on screen text to explain everything as I'm playing. Just make sure you pay very close attention so you understand what I'm doing. So for the first one, we have right, left, left. Then we have kick, right, kick. You get. So we have. If we play it over and over, we have. See, this is very nice. So now we can take our right hand and put it around the thumb. So we now have. You get that? So what I just did was I took all those right notes. And I spread it around the tom. So we have. So that's one plus two. Now let's do one plus three. So most of these things I'm going to be showing you, you just have to play them four times. If you want to play them as a one bar field. Orchestration, we can do. So you can keep all your right hands on this one too. So now on to the next one, which is one plus four. Now we have So if we try to take this thing around the toms, we also have um, we can put our right hands around the tom. So you get Now we're going to do one plus five. So we have. Mm, that sounds familiar. So you see that with this combination, we've combined something and we've made up the six stroke row. And if you've been here, you know six stroke row is everything. Like it's my favorite. So the six stroke row now we have. 
I'm not going to spend my time explaining the six stroke row so much. If you want to learn about the six stroke row very well, click this video right here. I'll leave um, a link to the video up here. After this video, you go check it out. So, I want to know about the six stroke row. You can orchestrate it any how you want to do it. You get? By the way, this lesson is opening your eyes to new stuff about the triplets. I would really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subscribed and smash that like button. Thank you. Let's get back into the lesson. So now, on to the twos now. We are going to be doing two plus three. So we have kick, right, kick, right, left, kick. So, you get? So now if we want to orchestrate this one, we can put our right hand around the thumbs, first right hand. So now we're going to be doing two plus four. So which is kick, right kick, kick, left kick. So we have... Do you get one, two, three, four? So now we can spread this hand around the thumbs. We have. This one is a little bit tricky and difficult, so spend the time with it and you get better at it. So the next one we're doing now is 2 plus 5. Kick, right, kick, right, right, left. So... If you're listening very keenly, you notice that we are creating so many chops out of just the triplet. Are you saying? So let's get back to what we're doing. Just now you spread your hands around the thumbs, first right hand. So now we're going to do three plus four, right, left, kick, kick, left, kick. So we have... So some of them are more difficult than the other ones who so spend time with the ones that are difficult, spend more time with them, you get. So onto the next one now, we're doing 3 plus 5. So right, left, kick, right, right, left. Now you can take your first right and put it on the thumbs. So, in a few... Now we're 
we're going to be doing four plus five, which is kick, left, kick, right, right, left. So, you got so. So you get put all right hand around the thumbs and it sounds like this. So if you want to see a similar video to this one where you're going to learn a whole lot of things like this or even better than this, check this video out. And please, this video took a lot to you know, put together and I would love it if you could just drop a comment and share this video with your drama friends. See you in this video.